You guys remember how during the presidential campaign, uh, Donald Trump's personal doctor and secondhand speedboat salesman declared <laughs> that Trump would be the healthiest individual ever elected president? You guys remember that? And then we all laughed so hard because in 2015, healthiest individual and elected president both seemed incredibly unlikely ways to describe Donald Trump. <laughs> well, Trump has just had his first physical examination by the official White House Navy doctor, and uh, it looks like we owe Dr. Speedboat an apology. The president's overall health is excellent. His cardiac performance during his physical exam was very good. A lot of things across the board, uh, he's, you know, he, he's, he's very healthy. His bilateral uncorrected vision is 20-30. I mean, he can drive if he wants to without glasses. And I had absolutely no concerns about his cognitive ability. You know, the president is mentally very, very, tar very sharp, very intact. But there's no indication whatsoever that he has any cognitive issues. Dental exam, he has healthy teeth and gums. There are no other dental findings. The president has no partial or, de or indentures of any kind. No heart problems, no dementia, no dentures. <laughs> but did you test for racism? <laughs> so, it turns out, according to the official White House doctor, Trump is completely sane, which makes me more worried, because that means he's doing all of this shit on purpose? <laughs> you Kofifi in your normal mind? <laughs> Because to us, the non-experts, the only thing that looks healthy about Donald Trump is that he's shaped like a food pyramid, right? <laughs> to say that his health is excellent, it's like medicine is gaslighting us now. I mean, how is this even possible? Can you explain to me how a guy who eats McDonald's and <laughs> fried chicks and all those Diet Cokes and who never exercises is in as good a shape as you say he's in? It's called genetics. I don't know. It's, uh, some people have, uh, you know, just great genes. You know, uh, I told the president that if he had a healthier diet over the last uh, 20 years, he might live to be 200 years old. <laughs> My God! <laughs> if you think Trump is racist at 71, imagine how racist he'll be when he's 200. <laughs> Look, to be honest, I'm not really surprised, man. Donald Trump has dictator blood. Right, we're used to this in Africa and in other places in the world. Castro, Mugabe, the Queen. We're all shocked at how long they live. <laughs> like, after the nuclear apocalypse, Trump is gonna be the only one walking around, giving speeches to cockroaches. Folks, we're gonna build a roach motel. <laughs> Who's gonna pay for it? Mosquitoes!